the Big Three Fantasy Alarm TV. I'm your host, Ray Flowers. Let's talk some pitching today. Go through three guys, and we'll start out with the first hurler who is with the Phillies. The number is 1.54. That is the ERA through two starts of Jeremy Hellickson. Who is Jeremy Hellickson? Well, we've seen him for enough uh, time here at the big league level to have a pretty good understanding of who he is, and we know he's not a dominant force. He's on a bad team with the Phillies, doesn't figure to help him out much in the win column either. Let's talk a little bit about the skills briefly. For his career, a 390 ERA, league average, a 126 whip, slightly better than league average, not a bad mark at all, but less than seven strikeouts per nine innings, not a good mark, and then a 1.20 home run per nine rate. Yeesh. Jeremy Helkson is just a guy. He's had some good times at the big league level. He's had some really down times at the big league level. The outlook with that team is not good in Philadelphia. The skills are not very good. He is a mixed league starter, only as a fill-in injury type spot starter. He is not someone you should be expecting to run out there 30 times this season. The next number is 152.2. That happens to be the career high as a professional pitcher of innings for Joe Ross of the Nationals. This is a concern, obviously, we've heard a lot out of Washington. They don't really want him to go past 180 innings this season. What does that mean? You know, that means he's going to miss a start here or there. You have to be very vigilant on how you utilize Joe Smith, Joe, excuse me, Ross. But when he is out there, Ross should be very good. A 50% ground ball ratio in his young career, more than eight strikeouts per nine innings in his young career, and a better than three to one strikeout to walk ratio to this point. Joe Ross, nice skills. A lot to like there in the mixed league, but we will see his innings curtailed a little bit. Keep an eye on how the Nationals do that. And then the final number of the day is seven. It's a number of years in a row in which Jared Weaver has had a whip under 1.25. That's pretty impressive. 1.25 below. That's actually 1.24 below in each of the last seven seasons. There are big-time concerns with Weaver's health and his lack of velocity. He no longer strikes guys out. He's a very average pitcher. Actually, he's a worse than average pitcher in the strikeout column. But he uses his big ballpark to great effect in Anaheim. Doesn't beat himself with the walk. He allowed one earned run in his first outing of six innings this season. Jared Weaver's not exciting. Jared Weaver's not a difference maker. Jared Weaver might actually hurt you a little bit in 2016, especially in that ERA and strikeout column. But the fact is he can still get outs. He is someone just like Hellickson that you can turn to in the right setup to start weeks as an injury fill-in. Don't forget and, or overlook Jared Weaver probably better than you give him credit for at this point in time.